AI. Now, millions of us have taken DNA tests and many of us look at our ethnicity results. But what do these DNA ethnicity results actually tell us? Hi, I'm John Beaumont and in this video, I'll show you what happened when I submitted my DNA to three different companies that provide these estimates. And let's see what happened. Now, before we look at the results, a little bit about DNA estimates. These indicate your origins dating back approximately 400 to 1000 years ago. So for many of us beyond where we're doing paper research. And because you only inherit a random 50% of each parent's DNA, you only carry pieces of your origins, not all of them. You leave, if you like, more of your origin story on the table than you take with you. And your siblings will have different ethnicity or could have very different ethnicity because they inherit a different 50%. So from the very get-go, they are only approximation. Now, some regions have shown up more strongly, some of may disappear completely, and that's why you and your siblings could have different estimates and why, if you have siblings, the more of you take tests, the more you can look at your ethnicity. But also, each company that we'll look at measures ethnicity in slightly different ways, and they all have the strengths and weaknesses. Typically, they're looking at reference panels or reference families and matching your DNA to those reference families or reference panels. So let's go ahead and look at these three different companies, MyHeritage, Ancestry, and Family Tree DNA. So here we are at Ancestry, Ancestry Origins as they call it. And we see the breakdown here on the left-hand side, 64% England, Northwestern Europe, Germanic Europe, Denmark, Ireland, Cornwall, Scotland, Iceland, and Wales. The ones at the bottom, the one, two, three percent, are probably a little bit of noise, and we have this ni nice little map here. Now Ancestry's got some nice features here on their site. So in addition, can to see the breakdown, I can actually break it down a little bit further by clicking on the different names here. And we can see a breakdown of England and Northwestern Europe. I can also break it down by parent. So we'll go back to that parent page. And we'll see the parent. And we can look at this and we'll break this down. But this is a fantastic feature that we can break down by parent as well. And a chromosome pair, painter, and we can do the journeys by parent. So in addition to the regions that we've just looked at, Ancestry's got some really neat features around its ethnicity. But this is what it's given me. So we are comparing numbers here, not looking at functionality. And let's click over to DNA. Now, DNA results on my heritage. Now remember, this is my DNA, exactly the same DNA. And we see the results are slightly different. In fact, fairly substantially different. English, Scottish, Welsh, Dutch, Breton, Irish, Danish, Germanic, and French. The same kind of map here, map feature. Now, my heritage has just updated their DNA. It has some neat features. It links into uh, a DNA family tree heat map so I can see by family which group as it we can see this English group here as it moves around we see the panel here on the bottom if I'm moving this around we can see where this this group group ID is situated so it's situated largely in Australia obviously in England in North America and 400 years ago it was back mainly in the UK and mainly in North America. So that kind of bridges the gap between the ethnicity estimate and what the timeline is of the group. So let's go back here. And it's got some other neat features here. Again, I won't go into it. We have ancient origins where I can look at my ancient origins here, the breakdown of hunter gatherers and I can explore this. So most of these companies have different features with them. They've all got the strengths and weaknesses. So I'm Again, this is not compare and contrast really. And what I'm interested in is looking at these numbers here because a lot of people take a lot of interest in what these numbers actually are. And then finally, let's go over to My Family Tree DNA and we'll click on My Origins here. It's nice to see most people are using Origins. And Family Tree DNA is very uh, simplistic really, not inaccurate compared to the other ones. Leaves out most of the European, but basically says I'm English, Welsh, or Scottish, or Irish, so I'm definitely from the UK, 100%. Um, 
So compared to uh, my heritage and ancestry, very streamlined, if you like, output. Now, the neat thing about both family tree DNA and my heritage is I can upload my own DNA to them. Uh, we'll look at some pros and cons later on. Um, my uh, my ancestry in uh, my ancestry in ancestry, if you like, has to be from a DNA test I took with ancestry. So let me have a look at these figures side by side. So here are the side by side figures, and maybe we can discount the family tree DNA. Um, although it's right-ish, uh, it's not wrong, uh, but it's, it's not as detailed as the other two. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is to show you that a lot of people take these things way too seriously. And Ancestry and MyHeritage are very big companies that do a lot of research into this. But you can see it's significantly different. Um, they've got the English part right, and if you lump, up, lump together the English, Scottish and Welsh here, uh, this is a fairly big lump in my heritage and in ancestry it's more heavily leaning to england and northwest europe some of the sub regions i would call them dutch denmark ireland we've got the irish here that matches cornwall is really part of england be honest it's got a different dna marker in ancestry we have iceland and wales here um, no breton in the ancestry no dutch no and Danish and so this is what I wanted to, you to look at um, we can take a lot of store by these things but even within the same DNA sample I'm getting completely different results I can take the overview and in some ways the family tree DNA is a better overview of some way it says I'm English Welsh and Scottish Irish that clearly is true uh, but it doesn't break down now there's lots of features and fabulous features in all these tools so, but let me have a quick look at comparing how they go about DNA. So I just wanted to bring you this slide up and it's really a quick compare. Um, each of these tools have their own strengths and weaknesses. Family Tree DNA does Y DNAs. It does a lot of other things around your DNA. It, for the DNA of people who want to get deep into the DNA, yeah, Family Tree DNA gives a lot, to, brings a lot to the table. It doesn't obviously spend a lot of time doing ethnicity, but it does do ancient origins and it does do Y and you can do ancient origins on a Y DNA as well. And it's easy to upload your DNA there. My heritage has just been upgraded and it was part of the trigger for me to do this video. It brings a very sharp resolution uh, to what was more generic before. Its ancient origins is obviously fascinating. And again, I can upload my DNA to my heritage. Now, on the other hand, Ancestry is the biggest database. It's got the more detail, ethnicity estimates. Um, it's frequently updated. It can break it out by parent, and it's got genetic communities reveal very specific ancestry they did go into. My heritage does actually do feature by DNA, so it does group DNA so does Ancestry. So in addition to using the reference panels that they use, it also compares to your DNA to other people who've submitted their DNA and see where it comes from. But we can see they've all got their strengths and weaknesses. So what's the takeaway from this? Well, the takeaway is it's a really good tool. It gives you some ideas. And you see, from my perspective, looking at where I came from, it, it tells me a little bit about my history. If we look at all the different tribes that came to England uh, four to a thousand years ago, then I'm obviously, my origins are probably knitted in with those people. But I can't use this as part of really my research, so to speak. It doesn't really tell me something. And I remember to a class I was teaching a lady who thought all her life she was Italian, and when she had a DNA estimate back from ancestry, it was almost 100% Spanish. And she was very disappointed. Um, and obviously I started cooking different meals, but that's what it wasn't. It was telling her that there was movement in her family way back beyond where she could remember and her family members remember. So I hope you found this quick compare, if you like, between Ancestry, My Heritage and Family Tree DNA interesting. It brings you different insight into what you're looking at at your ethnicity. Uh, and if you've 
got any very strange results, please leave them in the comments. If you enjoy my videos, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. And even better, please subscribe to my channel. Good luck with your DNA and good luck with your research.